We all love the Raspberry Pi. Who couldn't? It's an affordable, diverse device with the potential for so many exciting projects. The thing is, we just wish it was that little bit easier to get into making things without the steep learning curve. Maybe then, these things wouldn't get chucked to the back of a drawer and forgotten about. That's why we made Tingbot, a small, compact kit for the Pi that makes it that bit funny. So, what can you do with Tingbot? Well, you can create a surf cam feed so you never miss out on the big waves. A games console for all your nostalgia needs. A GIF messenger to share little moments with your friends. A MIDI effects controller for your guitar. A one hit pizza button. A new best friend. A live stream of your pig. What we're trying to say is pretty much anything you can think of. We're a small team of designers and developers with a passion for making things. With a wide range of backgrounds and interests, we all want to do different things with the Raspberry Pi. So we developed our own hardware and software to make the Raspberry Pi exciting, engaging and simple as fudge. So what exactly have we got here? Tingbot's made of a few parts which build your Pi into a little internet connected product. Assemble the touchscreen, connect the programmable buttons and when wrapped up in its cool wee case, plug in the power and Tingbot's good to go. We've also made it really easy to create fun, interactive projects for Tingbot using our own development environment we call Tide. Watch this. Just open your code, select your device, and it's on there in a matter of seconds. Tide comes with a bunch of clever libraries, simple building blocks, so you can get coding straight away. We're committed to building a real community around Tingbot, and we're really enjoying what we've seen so far. The Maker Fairs have been the perfect place to get some outside perspective to make sure Tingbot is just right. We've also sent Tingbot on tour. It's currently whisking its way around the country where lots of people are making fun, inventive apps which we can't wait to share with you. So far we've done all of this without investment, but now we need your help. We're almost there. We just need the extra push to go from the few Tingbots we have to getting them out there to all you guys. So join us on the next exciting LEGO This is Slice, a powerful media player built from the ground up to be easy to use. I'm Mo, one of the creators of Slice. The original concept for Slice was born while I was looking for the perfect media system. I wanted something compact, portable and with its own internal storage. I couldn't find anything like this on the market at the time, so I decided to build it myself. Excited by this initial idea, five of us got together and after developing a number of prototypes, Slice has been developed into an awesome product. We've designed a gorgeous aluminium case, custom PCB and purpose-built remote. It looks great, performs flawlessly and is fun to use. We're really proud of the way Slice has turned out. We've created the media player we'd like to own. Crafted from solid aluminium, Slice's anodized case features a unique LED system, a multicolor band of light that provides visual feedback about things like playback and power states. At the heart of Slice, you'll find the new Raspberry Pi compute module running XBMC and our own purpose-built user interface. Slice's custom electronics provide features such as high-resolution audio, Ethernet, USB, infrared remote support, and a large internal hard drive. Most media players rely on being connected to the internet and are complicated to operate. Slice is different. With its simple instructions and straightforward setup, you'll be up and running right out of the box. Simply connect Slice to any computer via USB and drag and drop your media onto it. Slice will then automatically add artwork and extended information for each file on the system. Slice will play HD video, display your photos, play back music, and even act as an AirPlay receiver, allowing you to stream audio and video wirelessly from your iOS devices. We've worked really hard to make Slice a great product. We've got working prototypes and we're ready to move into mass production. 
We just need to raise money to put the finishing touches to the hardware and the software. Slice is the media player you've been waiting for. Simple, portable, and with loads of local storage. So pledge today and help us make Slice a reality. The Raspberry Pi has enthralled the STEM education world. A tiny credit card sized computer for $25, hobbyists, students, and nerds are snapping the Raspberry Pi up by the millions. They're doing some amazing stuff with it. Computer game clones, entertainment systems, teaching kids how to code, and feeding their pets over the internet. It has been embraced as a computer, but it has even more potential as a robot. Our dream is to turn your Raspberry Pi into a robot. And we will do that with something we've made called the Brick Pi. The Brick Pi combines the hackable computing power of the Raspberry Pi with easy to build modular Legos. The Brick Pi makes robotics with Raspberry Pi simple. The Brick Pi system consists of two parts. A board that slides over your Raspberry Pi and connects it to Lego motors and sensors. And a plastic case that connects your Raspberry Pi perfectly with the Lego technique. If you can dream up a robot, you can snap it together. Lego makes building the robot easy. The Brick Pi unites these two systems together so anyone can make an awesome robot. What makes it so awesome? The Brick Pi has three motor ports that power standard Lego Mindstorm motors and read encoder values back. There are four sensor ports for connecting Lego Mindstorm sensors like the touch sensor, color sensor, and gyroscope. The Brick Pi has two LEDs to add visual life to your robot. A 9-volt battery power source powers the motors, sensors, and Raspberry Pi, untethering the Pi from the wall socket. We designed the Brick Pi to be easy to build with. The motor ports and drivers are clustered together for maximum power delivery. We've spaced the sensor ports around the front and sides for easy access when building your robot. The pins on the Brick Pi are left open on the top, so you can stack more sensors and extensions onto your robot. We designed a sturdy case with holes that snap Legos in and can be used to build a robot around. The Brick Pi is totally open source and totally hackable. Firmware is simple and is written in Arduino, so modifying it is easy. All of the designs for hardware and software are kept online. John, and open. he's wired in. You shut your mouth, he's wired in. So, how does it work? Slide the Brick Pi onto your Raspberry Pi, attach a 9 volt battery, hook up your Lego motors and sensors. Start by loading one of our example programs and let your robot run free, then start modding and hacking. Programming it is easy. We've already written libraries so you can write something easily in Python. All of the motors, sensors, and other peripherals you would want to attach are right there already and can be called with a single line of code from our library. In addition to the LEGO sensors you can add, you can still integrate whatever you like into the USB ports, a webcam, Wi-Fi, a keyboard, a mouse, basically anything you can think of. It's really cool because you don't have to know much about programming and you don't have to know much about mechanics to get started. Everybody knows how to build with Lego. And the Raspberry Pi is easy enough to use that everyone can learn how to code in it. So everyone can have a robot. We're excited to bring easy to build robots to the Raspberry Pi. We think this is an awesome platform that will change the way robotics is taught in the classroom and change the way people feel about hacking robots together. By backing our project, you'll help us do three things. First, we will make the Brick Pi as inexpensive as the Raspberry Pi, purchasing parts in bulk and paying for tooling costs. Second, we will use the funding to polish the existing Python programming libraries. Third, we can write a library for the Scratch programming language. By developing for Scratch, we can bring the Brick Pi to even the youngest students, programmers as young as eight years old. Our design is prototyped and working. Our team has years of experience in manufacturing, and we have relationships in place with parts suppliers and factories. Because of the Brick Pi's simple design, we anticipate few hurdles in getting the final product to you. By backing our project, you'll be a part of bringing the Brick Pi to life and making robotics easy for everyone. Flotilla is a digital tinkering kit for Raspberry Pi. It's a bunch of smart, affordable widgets that make your ideas come to life. Great for beginners and frictionless for experts. We made Flotilla because as makers, we thought there was a smarter way to play with things like sensors and motors. To make Flotilla accessible, we've created a couple of apps. 
For the absolute beginner, Cookbook is like a plug and play experience. You plug in some modules and it suggests recipes, which are projects you can make with those modules. The second app is Rockpool, and this lets you create simple rules like if it's dark, turn a light on, or if I press this button, make a motor turn. It's as simple as using an iPad app, and it works in any modern web browser. Flotilla has great Python libraries written in-house to be clear and friendly. And if you're a super maker, then you'll understand the two-wire interface that we've built all the widgets on. About four months ago, we invited some of our friends from the Raspberry Pi community to come and have a play with Flotilla and get their feedback. We knew Flotilla was a great idea, so we invited our friends who are makers, teachers, to see what they would do with it. What we found was people loved the idea, they loved the software, they loved the style with which we did it. So people who'd never been into electronics or thought that's not for me, we got them to get rid of their fear and try stuff. And that was really amazing. So it's fun, it's learning by stealth. You, you're doing these things and suddenly, you know, you're a bit of an expert and you can then go off and build, you know, whatever you want, whatever's in your head. I've got a penguin and I'm hopefully going to attach it to a motor so as when you twist it, theoretically, its wings flap. When I want to put together some kind of little robotics project or whatever, making the first step is quite hard. You have to dive in there, wire everything together. And this is beautiful because everything, all the modules use the same interface. It's got a huge amount of potential. Personally, as a mum and as a sort of hobbyist crafter, I think the price point seems absolutely bang on. We got some great feedback from the hack day um, and we used a lot of that to make small changes to Flotilla over the last four months. We're coming up to the end of a year's work on Flotilla. Um, we're on the final round of prototypes and we're currently working with Ragworm to customise our PCB colours. The PCBs and Flotilla will be made in the UK. We need people to back Flotilla so we can deliver on that promise of affordability and get something that people can say, yes, there is the thing that everyone can use to hack with electronics. Introducing the Mark II by Mycroft. Mycroft will wake you up. Hey Mycroft, play my morning jams. Playing your morning jams. Or do simple tasks like tell you what time it is. Hey Mycroft, what time is it? 3.15 p.m. And all the things you would expect from a voice assistant. Things like weather. It's 78 degrees and sunny. Calendar. You have a 10 a.m. team meeting. And conversions. There are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. Hey computer, Remind me to get my winter clothes out of storage. Other voice assistants can use your conversations to sell your data and send you ads. Mycroft never sells your data or sends you ads. The new screen is great for features like setting multiple timers. Hey Mycroft, can you set another timer for 10 minutes? Second timer started. Nailed it. It can have a friendly face or customize widgets. Choose your wake-up word. Hey, Mycroft. Hey, Trinity. Hey, Indigo. Hey, Victoria. And your voice. Hello, my name is Trinity. Hello, my name is Mycroft. And you can be hooked up to start multiple systems in your home with a single command. Hey, Mycroft. It's game time. Hey, but it doesn't work with this. He can help with that. Our open source community is expanding the capability of the Mark II, supporting things like Roku and other devices. Mycroft. Private, custom, open. Hello, I'm Joshua Montgomery, the CEO of Mycroft AI. In 2015, we launched the world's first open source voice assistant right here on Kickstarter. In July, we delivered the Mark I to backers in 56 countries and 38 states. The software that we built for the Mark I now runs anywhere. You can download and run it on the Linux desktop or the Raspberry Pi. This is the first step towards our larger goal, an artificial intelligence that runs anywhere and interacts exactly like a person. An AI that understands context, can communicate naturally, and hold a complete conversation. With our second Kickstarter, we're looking to expand the community and work with them to build software that allows you to voice enable anything. Software that's customizable and lets you rename the assistant and change its personality and appearance to fit you. The Mark II uses an advanced microphone array so it can hear at long distances even when music is playing. 
We've also added a screen so you can see things like calendar entries, timers, even security camera feeds. To bring the Mark II to life, we need your help. We need to invest in tooling, optimize our design for manufacturing, and continue to improve the software. That's why we're asking for your support. We need you to help us bring an open, transparent, privacy-minded, intelligent personal assistant to life. You can begin helping us now by going to voice.mycroft.ai and donating your voice, installing Mycroft on your Raspberry Pi, or backing our Kickstarter today.